This video will be part of my new series and playlist on educational apps on both Android and iOS devices. First up, iOS and the educational app called Bebot. Welcome to another flipped classroom tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you one of my favorite apps to teach programming to very young children. Now, a lot of us already know about Bebots. Bebots are programmable robots you can use in class. Now there is also an app and this app is free of charge and let's go ahead and open it. As you can see Bebot app. Now when you first open the app you can see it's a very colorful and attractive layout and the children will simply click on play. Now I'm going to go to the settings and reset all the scores. As you can see settings reset scores. This is great for when you have different groups all starting from level 1. Now let's go ahead and play. We will start with the first level and you can see that there are stars as rewards so we have one star if you make it to the flower, two stars if you make it and it takes you a very long time or three stars if you do it within a short period of time. So let's go ahead and start and similar to the real Bbots, we have to program using forward, backwards, turn left, turn right, and then go. Now we do have to remind the children to always clear the statements by clicking on the X because it doesn't just go left, it turns left 90 degrees. So let's go ahead and go one step forward, go. And this brings us to the app. So I'm going to say FL is in flipped classroom. Enter. Let's go to the next level. Level 2. Now these levels continue to get harder and harder. So the children here now need to have a think about how many steps they will move forward. So in this case we will have to move forward one, two, three steps. So one, two, three steps forward and then we press go. As you can see I have made it to the end. Now I'm going to show you an example of level 10 so let's go ahead and go to level 10. As you can see here the children will have to debug their code. Now if they are not ready to program this in one go then they will have to make mistakes and debug those mistakes. So I'm going to navigate to this flower by first making a right turn and as you can see, as soon as I press go, my Bbot turns. Now the Bbot does remember all instructions. So it creates an algorithm with different instructions, but it still remembered that turn right statement. So if I now add a forward, which is what I want to do, but I forget to clear, you will see that it's going to turn and then move forward because it has not forgotten my previous statements. This is the reason I say always remember to clear previous code. So now I have to turn left, move forward, go. Before adding my next couple of statements, I am going to have to clear the code. I'm going to make a left turn, forward, 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 right turn, forward, 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 left turn, forward, forward, left, forward, right, forward, forward, right, forward. Now a lot of children will get to this after having played with this app for quite some time. So as you can see it follows all these steps exactly as I have put them in. So to quickly summarize a really good and brilliant app to teach the children at a very young age about algorithms and how different instructions follow each other top to bottom. There is also a little added feature which is the farm so let's go ahead and go to the farm. Now these are little bonus levels so let's open the second sheep level. Now I have to go and push these sheep, herd them into their pen so I'm going to just move them forward a bit. There you go, I'm going to herd them into their pen. Let's keep going. That's one. And as you can see, the app is very intuitive. 
The children will love these bonus levels. In the top right corner you see a little counter and this is a counter that will decide if I get two stars or three stars. So let's go ahead to home, back, back and let's select the question mark. Now here you have a short explanation on how this game is created. Now if you want more information about actual bbots you can always visit the ttsgroup.co.uk you see your how to play basic controls and below in the description of this video you will also find a giveaway where I will give away a PDF full classroom guide on how you can use physical actual bbots in class and also how you can use this app to teach basic programming skills to very young children so go ahead and scroll down to the description and find the giveaway if you found this video helpful please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe this was a flipped classroom tutorial and I will see you in the next one thank you for watching